Glass City hosting Flint. Wranglers have buckets, but with all-star Chris Darrington sidelined on the floor, they'll have to find buckets elsewhere. Jonathan Brown, the follow slam. Wranglers up by six, but Flint takes control. Glass City down 10, second quarter. Clemmy Owens buries the three. Rogers grabs 14 points. Later in the half, Owens over to Marlin at Sierra. Former BG Falcon eyes that flies at three is good. Sierra with 11. Wranglers up by one. Third quarter action now. Glass City in the fast break. Owens leaves it for Brown. Big man in transition. Two of his 21 points. Glass City up by two, but they would trail for most of the second half. Fourth quarter, they make their move off the miss. Anthony Carmen is there for the putback, and the shorthanded Wranglers hold on for the 99-95 victory. Carmen, a game high 22. I think we're just trying to get back on the right track, trying to fight, fight for positioning for the playoffs, and we really play with desperation tonight, and I'm proud of my guys for that. Like, I'm proud of them. We talk about all we preach in that locker room before we come out here every day is together, together, together. As long as we have each other back, we can't be beat by nobody. <laughs> we, can't, <laughs> we can't be beat by anybody. And when he come back, it's going to get even scarier. Good to see Darrington in a good mood after the victory, as are Brad Wozniki and Brandon Bosch. When you put everything into perspective, this may have been one of the more impressive wins on the season for the Glass City Wranglers. Coming in here without Chris Darrington, 31 points a game, Alex Heath, another double-figure scorer, and also Caleb Vaughn was not available. But six different players scored in double figures, and you saw the Wranglers trail by as many as nine in the fourth quarter, still able to close it out. It was a total team victory, and really down the stretch, you had Carmen who played well. He battled through injury as well. It was Sierra. You had Santiago. You had contributions from really the six available players that they had. An impressive team victory, and they really needed every ounce that they got from all of their players tonight. It's an impressive win. Now, looking back on this game, we were looking for which team down the stretch could get those points in the paint, get those high percentage looks. And the job that the Wranglers did on the glass, getting those second chances and getting out and running really helped them. They did, and it was really Brown and Sierra inside. Flint just had a difficult time with them all night around the rim. They did a really nice job finishing through contact. They were able to step out and challenge their defenders around the perimeter as well. And when they started to get the game going inside, it really opened up those three-point opportunities for Santiago, for you know Marlon Moore. They were able to get shots off much, much easier. And as they were able to do it, the offensive flow came back that we saw early in this game. Kind of went through a little bit of a skid there in the second and the third quarter, but they found their footing and were able to get a victory. Also some impressive dunks here today, including Jonathan JB, as they know him here for the Wranglers, had one in transition that we will not forget. The Glass City Wranglers are now 3-0 on the season against Flint. These two teams will meet again, but the Wranglers now back in the win column.